I, uh, need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? Oh, jeez. I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah, 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah, 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 spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah, 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 leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby, and welcome back to Chaos on Deponia. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments, and you can also subscribe to the channel for more Deponia and other videos. Now, last time, we kind of saw what happened between the last game and this game, whereas Goal was, and Cletus were going back to Elysium, and uh, Rufus tried to launch himself to Elysium on a saw blade and ended up hitting their escape pod. And then he ended up ejecting Goal out, and then Cletus shot the rope, and <sighs> Goal and Rufus fell down here into the ocean. So, here we are. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I would love to claim that I don't rummage around in trash, but who am I kidding? After all, this is Deponia. Blah! Slimy. Oh, that is disgusting. No, I've had it. I simply do not belong here. I... Wait! What's this? Hey! That's my old anchovy bait! It's still good! Uh... Ah, uh, yes! It's still good! This is the anchovy bait from the first game. I don't know... I don't remember what we used it for or anything. That's definitely it. No, I'm better than those Deponian trash diggers. I can! I... I... I have to! <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is in here? Is it just this? Huh. The floating black market is in the middle of the rust red sea, far from the cruiser routes of the Organon. That's good. Okay. I didn't actually get to look I at can't it leave much. Here. Not without gold. Okay. All right. So we gotta go get gold first. Let's go ahead and do that. Ah, nothing beats a fresh breeze from the sea. The smell of freedom and adventure. And tar and toxic chemicals. Mm. And Tony's mother? What? Shh, you're scaring the fish. Ah, rotten fish. Close enough. But this native presents a welcome opportunity to make use of my cosmopolitan tactfulness and my linguistic skills. Me... Rufus, where I find lab belong to Doc. Are you talking to me, ape man? We put maps up for people like you. Ah, you mean heroes passing through? I mean people we prefer not to talk to. Hey, just so you know it, I have an excellent sense of direction. I don't need your stinking maps. So what you looking at it for? I'm not looking. I'm just shooting it a contemptuous glance. Uh, Doc's office is in the industrial park. But where's the tavern? Ah, oh, well, who cares? I guess I'll go see Doc first then. All right, so this looks like where we are right here. Um, what is this? What is this? First, I have to help Doc get Goal back into shape. Can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for himself. Ah, uh, I see. Look right here, industrial park. This looks like him. Can I just, like, fast travel? Whoa! Really? Uh, wait. Wait, I didn't even get to look First, around here. Can't have the old... First, I have to help Doc get gold, but can't have the old coot grabbing all the credit for... Okay, so I can't go back. Okay, let's start looking around. So much wonderful potential for a festive, all-consuming fire. Okay. 
Okay. What an ugly nest. It must belong to an extremely ugly bird. Just just for fun. I'm going to have to brood on this idea for a while longer. Okay. What's this? According to the delivery note, the crate contains a replacement airbag for the canal gondolas. Okay. Where's that go? Where's that go? We got question marks all over. Let's go in here. Uh huh. Take that crank. What's this? Electrical tape? Yep. What's this? Paint bucket? Yep. Uh, can't pick it up. White, of all things. The wet blanket among colors. Stick. Okay, I see where this is going. Uh, can I talk? I'll show him who the superior species is around here. <gasps> what a cute little doggy you are. I beg your pardon? <laughs> My name is Cleverbite. I'm an autonomous, cybernetically highly developed service unit, programmed to perform complex security tasks. Cleverbite? Oh, such an amusing name for a robo-dog. I will not suffer such indignities. Through the neuronal connection of computer circuits with organic cerebral matter, I am capable of processing more than 3,000 floating point operations Per second. Can you sit up and beg? Perhaps not. But I could sit up and grab something until you beg me to let go. You know, you've got quite an attitude for a cyber whatever mongrel, but I'm pretty sure that your bark is worse than your bite. Do you hear me barking then? Uh, I don't know. All I can hear is me, 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 nerdy ramblings, me, 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 me. I'll ask Doc <laughs> to make you a cyber muzzle. To do that, you would need to get past me, right? <laughs> I'm not going to allow some stupid mutt to block my path. Actually, I'm a superior cybernetic. Me, 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 superior. Me, 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 me. Let me show you who is superior here. Okay. Down. I am not sure I have comprehended your intention. That's because you're only a silly dog. It might help if you could talk in complete sentences. Down, boy! Bravo! With a little more effort, you might indeed be capable of forming an entire sentence. Ha! Piece of cake! <laughs> <laughs> I hear me demand you... Demand that you perform the act of down. Okay, let's just keep running with down. I hereby demand that you perform... The act of... Down! <laughs> Good boy. But I'm still not sure what you're really trying to tell me. <laughs> well, down, down, see? <laughs> like this. <laughs> this guy cracks me up. <laughs> Let me throw it to see Doc. Who's a good robot dog? Who's a good robot dog? Hmm. I need to think about that one. Hmm. Your mother, perhaps? What? Oh. oh! You rotten! <laughs> let me through. I have to see Doc. Oh, but I can't do that. If I let you through, my designation as a watchdog would be completely compromised. And if you don't, you'll be completely compressed. I think you're forgetting who's the superior species here. Then why don't you simply show me? <laughs> <laughs> Will you please let me in? Hmm, that sounds better already. But I didn't quite get the third word you said. Please. Talk directly into the audio interface. If you insist. Please, 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 please! <laughs> stop it! <laughs> please, stop! You're overloading my circuits! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stupid mutt! What? You're giving up already? How disappointing. 
So the important thing is I picked up a stick. Uh there's a guard dog. Here's a stick. <laughs> this task under challenges my combination skills. I'll just trash the stupid mutt. Okay, here we go. Hey, look what I've got. And now, be a good dog and fetch the stick. What's wrong? Fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Yes, exactly. That's it. Fetch that stick. Hmm. No. You go fetch that stick now. Atta boy. If you're so fond of that stick, why don't you go get it yourself? And if you're a good boy, I might even let you pass. Uh, the mice. Uh, oh, oh man. Am I gonna have to get the stick? Can I like? All this idea is missing is the right spin. Okay, I need something else for that. What about... <laughs> we'll see if he's still laughing when I shut his tin trap for him. Hey, look what I've got! Arrgh! Ah! <laughs> what? Okay. Uh, okay, let's just grab it. Go on! I just threw a stick, and you are a dog, so... What do dogs do in a case like this? I wait for you to make an even bigger fool of yourself? No, wrong! You fetch the stick, or are you too stupid? Wait, wait, I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> oh, boy. You didn't really just do that, did you? <laughs> I, I can't take it anymore! Okay, uh, when he laughs, this lamp kinda, I don't know, lights up more? Maybe the fixture's loose. Gets brighter? Oh god. <laughs> Decapo! Decapo! Something seems to be wrong with this lamp. It flickers constantly. Ah, oh, jeez, um... Maybe the fixture's loose. <laughs> All right. Decapo! Decapo! Can I shut it off or something? Um. Uh, paint? Man, I don't know. Black would be better. With flames glued to the side up front. And maybe, maybe a dragon with a battle axe. <laughs> exactly. That barking trash can may think he can shock me, but I'll show him what a shock. What? Well, I'm when when the shock. I mean, what what the what the shock? Oh, whatever. Some ingenious pun with shock. <laughs> shock <laughs> because of the electric shock and 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 so on. <clears throat> oh, come on, Rufus. You don't need a punchline to be brilliant. <laughs> Okay, so now the stick is like electrified, right? So I'm kind of thinking if I touch it, I'm gonna get electrocuted. What yeah. are you doing? You'll find out soon enough. Ow! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Uh, I can't take it anymore! Okay, so. Oh man, I was kind of thinking. To tape it? Yeah, maybe I should insulate the stick. Yeah. Okay, all right, we got it. There's a guard dog. Here's a stick. <laughs> this task under challenge. I'll just trash. Okay. Let's try this again. It might be this easy. <laughs> now he's in for a nasty shock. Hey, what's wrong? Are you giving up? Yes. You were right. This stick business is just too much for me. You stupid muddy cur. Here, like this. You put the stick in your mouth. <laughs> oh boy, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 
Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Yep. Okay, perfect. Is that what you thought was gonna happen? Alright. Okay, so we lost the stick. We still got the crank, just for fun. Black would be better. With flames glued to the side. And maybe maybe Okay, okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh-huh. That is a uh, techno flux inductor thing of me. I can spot one right off. Let's try it out. Does it have juice? What is going on out there? Stop playing around with the equipment and come in. We're sure getting electrocuted a lot in it's this one. It's time for another brilliant maneuver, plus or minus 10 minutes. Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. Yep. Here we go. Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not gonna survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Oh, no. Well, it's your money. Okay, uh, let's just look around. She's almost always unconscious when we run into each other. I wonder if there's a connection. Ah, nonsense. Goal? Goal! She can't hear you, Rufus. No problem. I know what to do. All I need is battery acid, gunpowder, bull's blood. Or you can simply bring me the cartridges as I asked you to do. We'll see. Hmm, I wonder if he can do it. Not without my help, that much is certain. So, I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get... Okay, yep, we heard that. Let's see what else we got in here. What is this? Freezer? Oh, wait, no, there's stuff down here. What's this? Screwdriver? Yep, need that. What's this? Drawer? <coughs> Chew first. That was a reminder that you are not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus! It's okay. It's okay, guy. <clears throat> it's okay. <laughs> Alright, let's just let's head up here. Uh-huh. Nothing. Really? I'll come back to it if I need a couple of ice cubes for my drink. Alright, so that looks like something we're gonna do later. And this is a switch. Which, uh... Did nothing. Alright, let's go! Alright. Hey, you. Who? Me? No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. 
Oh yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Let's go up. Okay, we're up. Let's go... Egg in the funnel. Caution is required. The colorful ones like to bite back. Oh, man, that was a lousy Easter. Okay. Might as well, I suppose. I, uh, never touch stuff that some stranger has already had in their rear end. Uh-huh, okay. Uh... Crap, man, I don't think... Yep. Alright, let's, uh, let's try this way. Huh. Whoever designed this pipe displays a refreshing lack of respect for any sense of efficiency. Hello? Testing? Testing? Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. A comet is approaching the floating black market. I repeat. A comet is approaching the floating black market. In order to avoid panic, you should consider suicide as an option. Oh, geez. <laughs> Great, now the pipe's closed, but it didn't do me any good. I'd better leave it open. And keep it in the back of my mind, just in case. Yeah, because we're going to need that eventually, eh? Let's try this out. Blasted religious nuts! You just don't get it, do you? If you want to meet Jamaica, keep it up and I'll help you on your way! What the? Who are you? I would like a knife. <laughs> what have you got on offer? I think I lost my way. I, guess I'll be... I would like a knife. In your gut <laughs> or in your eye. You can have both. <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors. Holy crap on a cracker. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Ha! Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the emphasis on yet! I think I lost my way. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk! That's why! <laughs> I'll, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'll be on my way then. <laughs> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. Mm-hmm. So it looks like we're done over here for now. Uh, outside Doc's workshop. Let's go this way. Uh, yeah. Tor tournament hand? Uh, what's this? Map. Aha. Uh -huh. Where are we? Okay, so we are here. That's docks. We're here. We still don't know what these two are. I don't know. Let's just let's keep checking. Let's keep 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 on keep on on keep on on go. Oh really? <laughs> Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Okay. What is this? Oh, is this a ship? Closed. 
too closed for my taste. Okay, so this is some looks like a ship in the water, and they hit the bridge, and this is a hatch. Uh, periscope. I feel okay. like I'm being watched. Oh no, I can't while someone's watching. What? Uh, okay. Can I do something weird like? It should be possible to build something useful out of it. A height adjustable tennis racket. Hmm, no. Hmm. I don't think I can. Closed. Two. No. Okay. Um, all right. I don't see. Oh, what's go, this? Go, go, Rufus rubber arm. <laughs> oh, uh, there's like a. It always worked before. There's like a rubber hand down here. This is apparently a real hand. They don't appear to think much of dice games here. All right, let's move on. All right, what is all this? Hey! It looks like the developer guy. Pokey. Um... Yeah, let's turn out the generator. I don't see a switch. Eh, no matter. With a little technical know-how, it shouldn't be a problem. Turn off! This isn't a trash burning engine. Hmm. Uh okay, we came from here. Uh what's this? Oh jeez. Okay, so there's the guy. Hey, hold still. Oh, darn it. Oh, it seems to have some sort of motion sensor. May I bother you? Not really. Then I'll have to do it without your consent. <laughs> That's awesome. Didn't we meet in front of Doc's workshop? Uh, you must be mistaken. No, no. You and your beefy chum, you were going to take something from me. What was it you were yelling? Death to the Organon? Death to the Organon! Uh, oh, I mean, um... <laughs> death to the Organon! <laughs> Whoever would say such a thing? Not that it isn't a good slogan. I mean, someone must have put a lot of thought into that. Why are you sitting here on your lonesome? I'm waiting for a worthy opponent to play rock, paper, scissors. Why do you think you might find one here? Because people around here tend to give you the finger. <laughs> and that makes sense. <laughs> So you're a professional rock, paper, scissors player? Yeah. Oh, I'm an expert. A professional gamer. A prestidigitator. Scissors is my forte. I've been training it for years and I can do it in my sleep. But my rock really rocks too. <laughs> Once in a while, I'm still a bit hesitant to make full use of my paper. But my coach says that I can compensate for this weakness through speed and stamina. I want to play. Uh, why not? But I need to see your fingers first. Did you bring them? Well, the last time I looked, they were at the lower end of my arm. Let me have a look. Yep, yep, here they are. Ha ha ha, nice try, buddy. Why? What's what's wrong with them? Those aren't official tournament fingers. They might be loaded. Uh... Come back when you have an official tournament hand. Alright, so in the front of that ship that was stuck under the bridge was an official tournament hand, so I had to get that. I'll be off then. See you around. Okay. Wow, there's lots of stuff in here. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. Some good music. <laughs> Despite my mighty strength, I'm not going to get anywhere without tools. The flap is screwed down. Oh, well, I got some tools right here. I'll just use my screwdriver on the screws. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, guy. Hi-ho. Hi-ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. hi dee 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 do Man, are you lucky I don't hit the handicap? <laughs> Hi-ho. Are you looking for trouble? Oh, come on. Sing along. Hey, dee dee. Man, are you lucky I. Alright, so what did that accomplish? 
The Dead Pigeon Tango? Uh... Hey! Hands off! Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? Stamp your feet and steal my firstborn child? I wouldn't talk so big if I were you. I'm at the right height to prevent your firstborn child from ever being conceived. Yeah, I have to go. I get a pain in the neck when I look down for too long. Okay. Can we now change it? What? Well, okay. Whatever. Uh, moving, moving right along. What's this? Bathroom door. Okay. Locked. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Gulliver's Gully. I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know. And I'll give you the key, the flashlight, and the wolf repellent. We assume no liability <laughs> for damages caused by the peanuts on the counter. So, what can I do for you? Jeez. Gulliver's Gully doesn't sound terribly inviting. My customers aren't used to being invited anywhere. Who would want to invite thieves and smugglers? Or people with infectious mouth diseases? Now, if you're looking for an inviting ambience, you'd better go uptown, kid. Uh, I've got a few questions regarding your regulars. Spit them out. Don't you ever run into problems with the Organon? To me, it looks like everyone here is doing whatever they want. That's right. The authorities leave us alone here. Porta Fisco is far away, and the magnetic train route runs along the coast. That's how the floating black market was formed in the first place. We're always in places where the Organon doesn't look. And if I told you that it won't stay that way for long? Then I would tell you to go join Janos and his resistance windbags. Only an idiot would believe in that conspiracy crap. Do you know Captain Bozo? Sure! He drops anchor here on a regular basis. I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapon store in Little Venice. She won't oh. break your heart. She'll perforate it with a repeating laser. And Bozo has a thing going with that fury? I can hardly imagine how that would work out. That's the lady we just talked to that was pointing a gun in our face. Go on, tell me about Bozo's girlfriend again. I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapons. She won't break your heart. She'll- And Bozo? I can hardly- so that's gonna have to be something that's something that we're gonna have to know uh, and use later. That's it for now. Yep. That was definitely enough. It's pretty dark in here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Most of my regulars aren't a pretty sight. But if you think this is dark, just wait until the generator breaks down again. Does that happen often? Unfortunately, yeah. It's the salty air. Almost the same effect as sugar in the tank. Odd, isn't it? A drink, please. Have you got any money? Well, uh... I thought so. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. Uh, what's that everybody supposed to mean? Say that. <laughs> Come back when you've got money. Transients don't get a tab here. What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. For a special thrill, I recommend watching the platypus pataka in the market arena. However, fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. Go on, tell me about those platypus fights again. Platypus pataka is a lethal contest, a fight for life and death. Can't the jukebox play a different song for a change? What do you mean? It plays a different song all the time. Are you sure? It does sound pretty familiar, you know. Leave my jukebox alone. Nothing but classics in the playlist. My favorite is the mating song of the junk crabs, but only when the door's closed. I have enough complaints about crab bites as it is. Hmm. I, uh... Need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? Oh, jeez. 
I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah, 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah, 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 spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah, 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 leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Liebold. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Garliff for the key. I'll do that. Garliff? Who's that? Um... See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. Who is Gar... Garliff? Alex, the jukebox dwarf... Oh. Okay. Hey, leave the candle alone. It's the only thing that provides light in here when the generator goes on the fritz. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's talk to Bozo. Hello, Bozo, old pirate. We've been through this, Rufus. I am not a pirate. I'm only a junk dealer with my own trawler. Yeah, right. And the parrot on your shoulder is only perching there by chance. I don't have a parrot, Rufus. I've never had one. Is that so? Then who did I feed those earthworms to whenever you were asleep? You're a rare bird yourself. <laughs> An eagle. Say, Rufus, was there anything in particular you wanted to talk to me about? Certainly. Then what are you waiting for? The multiple choice box. Wait a <laughs> minute. Worms? Shh. Here it comes now. Here it is. Yes. Don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Oh, don't tell me I slept through the entire passage. Like a platypus. Only you mumbled in your sleep. I was dreaming of my next big adventure. Would that have anything to do with ballet, sweet cheeks? I went to see Doc, and now I need to find the gadget shop. Uh, say hello to Gilligan for me if he happens to be in. It's by the pier, just to the left of the city gate. He almost sounds like the original Solid Snake, David Hayter, I think. But I kind of think uh, his voice is, uh, I probably said it in the last Eponia that we did. Uh, uh, far, not Far, uh, Farkas. Farkas, is that his name? Yeah, maybe. From the Companions in Skyrim. How's the grog around here? This is peppermint tea. Yeah, right. Tell me another one. Pirates drink grog. Everybody knows that. But I'm not. Uh, listen, I talked to Doc. He says your skewed perception may be an indication of a serious head injury. And the scar next to your eye may be an indication of an exciting sea battle. Har! Oh, seriously. Did you ever fall on your head? I mean... Between the two times since we've met. Anchors away! Hoist the sails! Avast ye landlubbers! Yo ho 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 ho! Oh well, none of my business. Just as long as you don't forget to pay me for the passage. Uh, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum! Arr. <laughs> Jeez, man. See you later. Don't get lost. All right, I'm gonna talk to this guy again real quick to see if I can get the uh, the key. I think I'm going to have to probably beat him in rock, paper, scissors before giving me the key. May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> got a point there. Have you got the key to the tavern bathroom? Yes, but I still need it. I have this bet going. You bet that you would use that bathroom? Uh, yeah, but I simply haven't worked up the courage yet. Scares the crap out of you, does it? That's what I'm waiting for. He's waiting for it to scare the crap out of him. I'll be off then. See you around. Alright, I think I had to beat him in rock, paper, scissors first. So... Down... 
harbor. Okay, he's not gonna keep singing. Alright you guys, well I think that's gonna be it for today. Man, it's still Saturday night when I recorded the last one. And I was super tired then, and I am extremely tired right now. Uh, so, so thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. We're going to have to call it a night for tonight. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button for me. Leave me your thoughts on it down below in the comments. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more Deponia and other videos. So uh, next time we'll continue to explore around here. And uh, hopefully we'll start putting some stuff together. Are you, are you kidding me? Come on. And we'll start getting some stuff done. So thanks again for coming to hang out with me today. You guys really do appreciate it. I'm so excited, even though it doesn't sound like it in my voice probably, but I'm very excited to be back playing this game again. It's one of my favorites. So we'll see you next time. Later, guys.